Hello YouTube, this is JTAG Mods 11 and it's been a while since I've made a video, most of them I have deleted or been on another YouTube channel I don't use anymore. So I decided to maybe start making more tutorials, I don't know. Pretty much I'm doing this on a topic called, on Real Time COD, something that I thought was pretty neat and I didn't see many videos on how to do it and if I did see a video, I mean it wasn't fully how to do it. It was some parts, it, you know, you didn't, I really wasn't sure what to do. But I finally figured it out with a little bit of help from a friend. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to uh, download this file I'm going to have in the description. And you're going to need to download, the, uh, no, there's going to be another link and it's going to give you the seven, no five part, I'm thinking of what it were here guys. The five part I like ISO type thing. It's kind of like when you're downloading an ISO, there's multiple parts because it's a big file. This isn't really a big file, it's just easier to break it up into downloads. So pretty much what you're going to do is if you've ever made an ISO before, you're just going to right click extract files here and this will combine every one of these like little little parts of the program into one file. So then you just click on it, do the setup, and once you're finished you will get this on your desktop. It's called Xbox 360 Neighborhood. And pretty much what this is for is this is like to connect to your JTAG. You know it's like from this program you can see if it's on, it tells you what kind of system it is, you can t take pictures and stuff like that. See, like, if my JTAG was on right now, I could screen capture right here and take a picture of what I'm doing on my JTAG, which I'll show you on in a minute. So, pretty much what you need to do is, once you have this, these, all those parts, you're going to need to download um, the JTAG files. And pretty much what you need to do is you need to go, uh, you need the Freestyle Dash boot and, like, the Freestyle Dash. So, that, I pretty much named these out, that's why they're kind of terribly named. But, pretty much you're going to need to uh, start up Freestyle Dash, it's a pretty neat program, put that next X menu and put Freestyle Dash boot next X menu. Do not touch this. You need to boot up this first, Freestyle Dash, and then go into this. This could make you have to reflash your hand if you do this incorrectly. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go into the program. You're going to start with the default.xcx uh, XCX menu. And once you've done that, you're going to... It keeps doing this junk. Uh, okay, so pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start it up. You're going to click A, and then A, B... And then A, and the last A is to restart your console, so the the dash boot. And pretty much what this does is when you set this up, it's going to set up to where Freestyle Dash turns on every time when you turn on your Xbox. But for some reason, when I set it up, I did exactly what I just told you. But it didn't. It doesn't boot into Freestyle Dash. It's kind of weird, in my opinion. I didn't start up Freestyle Dash before. That might have been it. But it doesn't boot into Freestyle Dash. It boots to the normal dashboard. I know I did everything right, so I don't know what happened there. So pretty much what you're going to need, and then you're going to go to the second step. Once you once your console turns off, you're going to turn it back on, and you're going to go start the dbdm.xcx. Pretty much what this is going to do is this is a launch.ini file right here, and it has coding in it as you can see right here and pretty much what this does this allows you to connect to RTC or real-time COD and like you start this up you might get an error message or your console might turn off I got an error message saying disk and readable which that has nothing to do with the game it's just saying that it cannot start it up correctly which it actually does start up correctly because it's sending the file to through the internet and one more thing you need to be connected to your router through your JTAG system link uh, would like plugging it in you can connect like here's the way I do it is I have my JTAG downstairs plugged in my router with an Ethernet cable and my re and my retail which is a slim it's a black one it's wireless so I can connect wirelessly from my slim I don't have to be right next to my JTAG the only disadvantage to this is if I have a patch I have to go press like the back button from on for two or black ops I have to run all the way downstairs press the back button run all the way back up and yeah it kinda gets old but you know it's exercise <laughs> So pretty much once you've done this, uh, you're pretty much done with that. The one more thing you need to do is you're going to need to go to uh, system settings. And once you go over to system settings, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your Ethernet cable connection or your wireless, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to go to your settings and you should see your IP address. And your IP address is going to be crucial to this part because you're going to need to put it in Xbox 360 neighborhood and you're going to need to put it in real time cause. First, I'll show you how to do it in Xbox 360 neighborhood. As you can see, my my uh, local IP for my JTAG. This is not the one that I use over Xbox Live. This is just the one just from my router how it's been assigned. It's 192.168.1.9. Usually the last number is different. That's how I, it's occurred for me. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to, once you find your IP address on your system settings, you're going to click next here and you're going to type in the IP address. So it's going to be 192.168.1. Point, and then you're going to put something random here. Like, you're not random. It's going to be a random number or letter. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a number, obviously. But it's going to be whatever yours says. And you're just going to put in, like, let's say mine was, my other JTAG was 4. Then I would put 4 next. 
and it would if your JTAG needs to be on when you do this. And pretty much what it would say when you click next here is it said uh, it would find it and it would add a new one and it would say JTAG. But since my, this one's not found because this isn't actually my JTAG uh, IP, this is it right here. And my other JTAG isn't on. So it needs to be on. Make sure you have that on. For real time COD, it does need to be on. Pretty much what you're going to do, since I'm mostly making this video for Modern for 3 real time COD, you're going to need to boot up real time COD, go into uh, you know, system link and multiplayer, and you're going to need to start the game up. Okay, once you have that, you're going to go into RC, RTC and uh, you're going to start, you're going to open up this folder and you're going to start up real time COD. As you can see, my my JTAG IP address is already up here, but I'm pretty much going to show you how to do this anyways. You're going to go to edit settings and you're going to put the title update you're on, which I'm on 14, but you will be on 8 unless you have any newer title updates. And the thing is, is that uh, when you're doing, oh, let me show you this, when you're doing this, I will give you title update 8, but no one's really, I don't think anyone's released title update 14, which I got it from a friend, but they haven't released it, so pretty much you're going to need to uh, use title update 8 until they release something new for you. So pretty much let's pretend I'm on title update 8, this is pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to put your Xbox IP here, and you're going to put, this is your, uh, your XEX, so pretty much if you're on, if you can boot up, if you're going to be in multiplayer, you're going to start up your default underscore mp.xex and this is going to boot you into multiplayer this is going to start you into to like the normal game startup so pretty much what this does is like this is like campaign zero would be campaign like uh spec ops and this would be like multiplayer like xbox live which you most people can't go online with their xboxes unless they have an xdk which can connect has the server ip that can connect or if you're going to go system link split screen with your friends and stuff so i'm going to do once i'm playing like i told you to go to a private match so once you're done this, you're going to exit out of this. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to, uh, once you've done this, you're going to click refresh all of ours. But because of the fact my JTAG is not on, it's not going to let me do this. So pretty much I will be, okay guys, I'm back. And now that you, I have my JTAG turned on, I'm going to go into Xbox 360 neighborhood. And as you can see, it shows my JTAG here. I'm going to take a screen cap. And to see what it's like. And it's, you see what I'm doing on my Xbox right now. I'm spawning into a system link match. Pretty much. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. Is that when you take pictures like this, they actually save. So, like, see, this isn't the image. The first thing you want to do is just make sure you get those deleted. And don't just take a buttload of pictures and not, not know it. That's what I did at first. I just deleted all my pictures. I didn't need them anyways. So, pretty much what you're going to want to do now is you're going to go in here. And uh, you're just going to click refresh all. Hold on. Refresh. I need to close the program out real quick. Hold on. Okay, so uh, refresh all. Okay, as you can see this loading bar down here, that means it's connecting and it's refreshing all the devices that are on the game right now. And the one thing I haven't figured out is every one of these devices I'm sure does something, but I'm not sure exactly what all of them do. So, uh, most of these, it might take me a minute to find some, like I know how to do a pro mod and everything, okay. So pretty much, like, if you wanted to do a CFG file, which is already like a config file, you can just load up, which I gave you a download to. I'm going to set that to 90. Poke Devar, and this is going to send it to your Xbox, and you can't see how that says true now. So now I'm going to open up this right here, right click, click on it, then right click. Look, now you're going to see uh, FOV, see, my gun's farther away than the picture before. This is the gun axis. You can move the gun up, down, left, right, but I, it's very touchy, so it's really sensitive. And it didn't really do anything. Like you can change the low ammo, low ammo colors, one and two. So like it'll be the red. I think it's normally red and yellow. You could change that. Okay, this is pretty cool right here. The allow AC-130 use time. Normally, the time is 40 seconds. You know what this does. Like, you just put a buttload of numbers on there and use this for as long as you want to. Change team enabled so you could undo that poke devar and you wouldn't be able to change team. Now you can change your camera to third person right here. Enable poke devar. As you can see, third person now. 
Okay, guys, so that's all I could find. Hopefully, this helped you in some way. If it did help you, uh, could you please like, comment, subscribe? So maybe other people that don't know how to do this could find it. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.